Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dorino singing. Oh, 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 I love to shine and rise. Wait a second. That's not how it goes. Rise and shine. Hello, hello, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back. What's going on, everybody? It's CJ. Welcome back to another Flingo Vlogs. And in today's video, I'm not in Sydney anymore. If you can't tell, I have made it to Cairns. It's a long story why I haven't been vlogging in the past few days. And truth be told, my camera battery is actually low. So I don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna get done today. Actually a little nervous. But yeah, I have made it to the beautiful city of Cairns. It's not a very big city, but it's quite luscious. It has a lot of green. And I do plan on showing it off tomorrow. In today's episode, we are heading to the Great Barrier Reef. Gonna see some beautiful fishies. And if I'm lucky, maybe a shark. Fingers crossed, I really don't wanna see a shark. But anyway, so I am making my way over to where I'm supposed to be going for my tour. It's about a 30 minute walk. Nothing like getting some good old exercise, especially early in the morning. I'm supposed to be there for seven. I should be able to make it there in enough time. But yeah, either way, I don't want you guys to worry. I will show off cans. I'll probably be able to do that better tomorrow. By the way, if you guys must know, today is Wednesday. I'll be leaving Cairns Saturday to head back to Sydney for a couple more days and then we'll be heading back. Good old Perth. Good old Perth. <laughs> anyway, so just to kind of recap what's been going on the past couple days. Uh, it's actually been a few days since I've picked up the camera and started vlogging. The only reason why is mainly because my camera battery is pretty low. <laughs> well, I left Sydney Monday morning and Sunday night was St. Patrick's. It was a very fun night. I went to a club. It was called the Scary Canary. Shout out to all my people who go to the Scary Canary. That place is absolutely wild. Oh, we gotta cross the street. I hope I don't get run over. Ah! Anyway, so yeah, I went to this place called the Scary Canary. Had a great time with a great bunch of people that I've met there and I will not forget you guys. You guys were all awesome. I will miss you guys, and I hope I get to see you guys sometime in the future. Either way, so, completely enjoyed my time while I was at the Scary Canary, and had just a little too much fun. So I finally got to bed at one in the morning, and I had to wake up four hours later to get to my flight. So I woke up at five. I made it to my flight. Fortunately, with 20 minutes to spare, here's a life lesson for you guys. Don't procrastinate, or if you do, be a pro at procrastination. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I made it to my flight, I passed out on the plane, and then I made it to Cairns, and I finally made it to my hostel. I will show you guys that a little later. If not today, maybe tomorrow. I made it to my hostel, and fortunately, I didn't have anything booked for the past couple days. So I've really just been using the past two days to kind of recover and just to relax. Unfortunately, the weather has been not the best. The weather's been very rainy. It reminds me a lot of home back in Texas. It's very humid. So, if I were to ever move out here in Australia, I personally would not move to Cairns just because I don't really care for the hot and humid weather anymore. I'm a bit over it. Kind of been dealing with hot, humid weather my entire life. So, Cairns would be a nice place to visit, but for me, not a place I would want to stay. But, I love Cairns. Cairns is absolutely beautiful. So, if you live in Cairns and you're watching this video, this one is for you guys. Everybody, woo -sa. Remember to breathe in and out. All right, so we are less than five minutes away from my tourist spot. Now, obviously, when I get to the Great Reef Barrier, I will be snorkeling in the water. I can't take my camera with me. Well, I mean, I can, but it's probably going to stop working. Anyway, so I heard that we can rent cameras that can go in the water, and I'm gonna swap my SD card and put it in their camera. 
hopefully everything goes as smoothly as possible. Got my boarding pass, so now we can actually get on the boat and we're gonna go snorkeling. I'm gonna see what I can do to rent out a camera to take underwater. That way the vlog doesn't have to stop just because I'm on land. I know I can't grow gills and my camera can't go underwater, but the adventure does not have to stop. They gave me this form so I can fill out to talk about all my allergies and stuff that I'm allergic to. The only thing that I am allergic to is you guys not subscribing to this channel. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel, please. Seriously, I'm begging you. of ducks and penguins. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has started to rain, so I hope that does not ruin the trip. I was really hoping to looking forward to seeing some fishies outside so I can talk to my native brethren. Hopefully the weather will clear by the time we actually get out to the reef. This is just absolutely crazy. Scuba gear. I look super fit. Aquaman. Let's do this. All right, party people. So I have went into the water. I went snorkeling. I didn't do scuba diving just because it was going to cost a little extra, but I did go snorkeling. Pretty crazy. Actually, really intense. I'm really hoping that I don't drop my camera into the water because. I'll be super mad, but yeah, anyway, so I just went snorkeling. It was super fun. Um, again, it was really intense, kind of took the breath out of me. I think there's actually something wrong with my mask and something wrong with my snorkel, so I have a different one now, but we'll be going to another location. I don't think I'm gonna hop in the water anymore. I'm gonna take it easy, kind of get my breath. Also, kind of conquered one of my fears. I have a huge fear of deep sea ocean and right now I'm out here in the ocean looking at all these fish and nothing but water. Just a quick positive message for any of you people out there who has a huge fear, go out there, conquer it, you can do it. Trust me, once you do it, you'll feel a lot better. Would I do this again? Absolutely, but not anytime soon. <laughs> party people so I have made it to the second location where we are supposed to be diving I want to apologize I'm sorry if the camera footage is looking just a tad off I haven't wiped the camera lens in a in a while so kind of need to do that but I don't really have anything to clean it with at the moment anyway so we made it to our second location where we are to be snorkeling I am going to hop in there for maybe 30 minutes. I don't want to be in there too long. I conquered my fear, but I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous trying to head back in for a second time. I had a really hard time trying to catch my breath in. I did actually have a lot of water get into my system, so I'm not really sure how I feel about going in for a second time. But 
I never said I wasn't gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you guys. So, you guys better leave a thumbs up because I'm heading back into the water. All right, party people. So I have managed to pick myself up a camera. It's temporary, but it will have to work. So we are gonna go look at our underwater adventure and hopefully we can at least capture a few different things. Uh, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna stay in there for long, but I will try to see if I can capture something. I am a little nervous heading back in, but hopefully it'll be fun. So again, you guys need to support the channel. Leave a thumbs up for me going back inside the water. Hopefully I don't get eaten by a shark. All right, let's cue the music. Into the water we go.
Um, that was probably one of the most thrilling things that I've done in my life in a while uh, right now I am heading back to my hostel and truth be told I'm pretty hungry right now I'm ready to go put something in my stomach you know treading in the ocean water is actually a lot more physically demanding than I thought and I am ready to eat a burger so I'm gonna go find myself a nice place to eat. I think I know the perfect spots, but first, I need to get a shower. I gotta get all this salt water off. Plus, I don't want you guys to be salty. See what I did there? Well then, I see you decided to stick around and continue watching the video. If you are still watching, that means you decided to join me for the night. <laughs> so, I am gonna go get some food. I'm starving. I went to go take a shower and then I realized that when I went to go wash my clothes yesterday, they didn't get washed properly, so I had to throw them back in the wash again. Now they're in the dryer, but I'm not waiting any longer. I'm starving. And I'm really sorry about the camera footage. Uh, it's not looking the best right now. That reminds me. So, I haven't really edited any videos. Um, long story short, the laptop that I'm using to edit my videos isn't working at the moment. So, I can't edit any videos unless the laptop decides to work. 
But um, something that I totally forgot about and I just now remembered, and speaking of food, so funny thing, we still have yet to go to that one place, that one pie place that we said we're gonna go to when we were in Sydney. So one thing you guys should know, I will be going back to Sydney for two days. When we go to Sydney, we need to go to that pie place. They had a huge claim and we gotta see if they're right. We gotta see if they got the best pie. I love pie. All right guys, so I have made it to this place. It is called Evo Burger. I have never been here before. In fact, I really haven't eaten out here since I've been to Cannes. So this is really my first time eating out here in Cannes, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm not really sure what to expect yet, but I ordered something simple, a nice good old cheeseburger, you know, for your, your true Americans out there. <laughs> and then I got a small um, french fries or chips as they call it out here and a drink. So. I am looking forward to eating it. I will do a full review over this cheeseburger once it gets in my stomach and then we are going to celebrate. While I wait here for my burger, I just figured now is a good time to finally talk to you guys. We don't do this often enough. I don't feel like I've talked to you guys. You guys need to talk to me, you know, drop a comment down below in the videos every once in a while. You know, I talk to you, you talk to me. It's a good time. Anyway, so um, tomorrow I'm going to be going to, I believe it's pronounced Hironda Village. I don't really know, but I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully I will get a better view of Cannes. Cannes so far has been absolutely beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, it's just been raining a little too much for my liking. But yeah, then we have a cruise on Friday and then Saturday we're gonna be heading back to Sydney. I'm looking forward to going back to Sydney just because I really did actually enjoy Sydney. There is a lot to do there and I am enjoying Cannes as well. So far, Australia overall has just been absolutely beautiful. Guys. My burger's ready, let's do this. Uh, uh, moment of truth, look at that. Nice little 360 for you guys, Woo! Even got a little bit of ketchup for my fries, or as you guys like to call it, my chips. Oh man, and of course I had to go with Purple Fan. I'm pretty sure there's a joke in there that you guys have, but this burger looks absolutely gorgeous. I might have to pick off the onions, not a big fan of onions, but that was my fault, I should have said something, but we are about to get in on this. Let's get it. All right, so I'm not gonna pick anything off just yet. I am gonna go straight in. I'm just gonna take the first bite. Onions and everything, maybe their onions are good. Again, I'm not a big fan, but let's get it. Hmm, damn, I'm a mess. Oh my God. All right, onions too, they're really good. Ebo, you guys are doing something right. You know, as an American, it's kind of my birthright, especially since I'm from Texas. Got to treat myself to a burger. Let's try the chips real quick. This is the place, guys. You know, the funny thing is, um, I had no plans of coming to this specific burger place. I literally left my hostel, and I said, the first place that I see that actually says the word burger on it, I'm going to go up to it, and I'm going to walk in, and I'm going to order something good. No regrets. Dang guys, looks like the cops are on to me again. I just can't seem to escape them. Everywhere I go, they're always looking for me. Even out here in Cannes on vacation. I'm just kidding. All right, so I have managed to finish my delicious burger and all the chips. Here's my proof of evidence, boom. All done, I just got this delicious Fanta to finish off. Anyway, honestly guys, Evo gets a 10 out of 10 for me and that's coming from an American that is also a Texan. They did a good job. So guys, go check out Evo Burgers. Nope, it's just Evo Burger. Go check out Evo Burger. It's actually really good and I'm actually stuffed. Convenience equals consequence. Not really sure what that's supposed to mean. So. I am heading back to my hostel now. Now I'm gonna have to wake up tomorrow and it's gonna be a little busy. Looking forward to it. So I'm gonna end the video here and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See you later.
Uh, what? Come on, guys. You didn't really think I was going to end the video like that. No, seriously, all jokes aside, thank you so much for watching another Flingo Vlogs. If you, die, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up. I would really appreciate the support on the channel. Oh, look at that. We got some good lighting. Anyway, comment down below um, what you're looking forward to seeing while I'm out here. Let me know. Again, I want to talk to you guys. I would love to talk to you guys. So leave a comment. Anyway, so you can stay up to date with my Australian adventure. Go ahead and subscribe. That way you can see the video and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss out. You'll know as soon as I upload a video. When I ever upload a video. It's not my fault. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is CJ signing out. Later.